Good afternoon, Exeter. For this week's report, a look at river herring running happening in downtown and the festival that celebrated the fish. An update from the Exeter Parks and Recreation Department on their summer offerings. And a trip to learn more about what's going on in the library. I'm your host, Garrett Prey, and this is the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report. Let's get started. It's been five years since the fish were able to swim up the river without the great dam to block their passage. To mark the special occasion, the town brought back the Alewife Festival. Bob Glowacki has a recap of the event along with some of the information about the river herring that gave the festival its name. For thousands of years, the Alewife and Blueback River Herring have swam up the Squamscott River to spawn in the fresh water of the Exeter River. In more recent history, dams prevented the fish from making it up and over the falls in downtown to reach their ancestral spawning grounds. 2022 marks the fifth year of free passage with no dams, and the town marked the occasion by bringing back up, the man? Alewife Festival. Scheduled months in advance, the alewives must have got their invitation as they arrived just one day before the festival. Fish could be seen pulling up below String Bridge where a set of falls is their first real barrier. The fish continued to make it up the river on Saturday when the festivities were held. Members of various town departments and government committees were there to talk about conservation work and green initiatives being done in town. Fish and Game was on site to teach the public more about the river herring. Catching the fish, they collected samples before releasing them back into the river. Email 49285. Renee Allen from the Energy Committee paraded around the park in her homemade alewife mascot costume and had a nice photo op with a river herring. Renee, the queen of the alewives, is going to hold an alewife in her hands. Here we go. Here we go, people. You can watch the full event coverage video on our YouTube page. Now the Parks and Rec Department has lots of programs. We spoke with the Assistant Director, David Tovey, to learn more. First up, we have our Summer Concert Series, which is going to start on June 30th at Swayze Parkway. It is Thursday nights throughout the summer down at Swayze Parkway, and it runs from 6 to 8 p.m. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Cambridge Trust and Alchemy and Herbs. Next up, also around music, we have our Tune and Fork Tuesdays, which is going to be held over at Townhouse Common right here um, in downtown Exeter. Um, that is going to begin on June 21st. Uh, it's a program, our series um, partnered with Exeter Parks and Rec and Team. Uh, we will have local artists, um, musicians, there will be food trucks. So it's gonna be a great family-friendly event and we hope to see everyone down there. Up next, we have our Senior Summer Kickoff Barbecue, which is gonna be held on June 2nd from 4.30 to 7.30 down at Swayze Parkway. We are on a wait list right now for that, uh, but if you give us a call, we'll be happy to add you to the wait list. And if there's anyone that wants to just come down for the local uh, music, feel free to do that as well. And we'd like to thank our sponsors for that event, Newburyport Bank, Optima Dermatology, and Humana Insurance. And next up, the Daniel R. Healy Memorial Pool will be opening on June 11th. Now, it will only be open for weekends until June 21st, then it'll be open seven days a week. Some other upcoming programs we have, Aqua Zumba, that will be beginning in June, and it's Wednesdays from 12 to 12.45 down at the our outdoor pool. We also have Water Aerobics, which is Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 12.45 at the pool as well. Both of those programs start in June. We have Medical, Kai Gong, which is also going to be held outside at Townhouse Common. Nutrition 101, which is going to be held in the Exeter Senior Center in June. Uh, that is a program for anyone who's looking how to make the most out of their dollar at the grocery store. Um, buying healthy foods on a budget is possible and we're going to have a dietitian from Hannaford Supermarket come and anyone who'd be interested in a lunch afterwards from Meals on Wheels, uh, we can set you up with that 
that as well. We just need to know in advance if you'd like that meal. As always, we have our specialty camps going on throughout the summer. Um, anyone interested in some stand-up paddleboard lessons or stand-up paddleboard yoga, we have you covered there. We have our youth golf camp, our youth flag football camp. We have spots available in our summer adventure camp. So anyone looking for childcare or want to uh, register their child for something to do fun this summer we have summer adventure camp we have session one which is the first four weeks in session two the second four weeks and then as well we have all eight weeks if you want to register for the whole summer um, we still have space in our learn to swim lesson program as well which is for ages five and up um, so if you're inter interested in any of those please give us a call we have space available and last but not least, we have a survey on our court facilities here in Exeter. We wanna hear from everyone, whether you use them or you don't use them. Uh, we wanna get as much feedback as possible on our outdoor courts that are located down at Four Hampton Road, right next to Planet Playground and the Daniel R. Healy Memorial Pool. So that's what we have coming up right now. There's a lot more to come. So we hope to see you guys soon and take care. As temps rise, the public library is always a cool place to be. We spoke to Condra about some of the offerings at the library for the summer. Hello everyone, this is Condra from the Exeter Public Library here to share with you the very fun things happening at the library in June. The Children's Room is launching a brand new club an art club for children ages 8 and up starting on the third Thursday of June, June 16th from 3.30 to 5. This one is sign up only, so please come in and sign up today. In addition to that, we are still running Sewing Club, Lego Club, both of our story times, and open art every single week. So there's lots of fun things for children to do in the library. The teen scene is also launching a brand new event this month. We are having all day gaming every Tuesday at the library where teens are encouraged to come in and play our board games or our new video game collection. We are also hosting a special teen book swap with Teen Advisory Board on Saturday, June 18th at 11 a.m. This is a chance for teens to bring in some of their loved books and swap them out for something they will love. We are also very excited to have two concerts here at the library in June. The first one is on June 7th at 6.30 p.m. and this will be a live performance from the Portsmouth Brass Quartet performing music made by American musicians from John Philip Sousa to Stephen Sondheim. We will then have Poco Amare, a subgroup of Amare Cantare, the local a cappella group, on Tuesday, June 21st at 6.30 p.m. They will be performing a variety of beautiful music and we are excited to have them back. There are also movies every Monday, and we will also have our evening and morning book groups. We are so excited to also have some new items in our library of things for people to take home, including this projector here if you want to do some outdoor movies. There's also things like our adventure packs and telescopes, so please come in and explore our library of things. Summer reading at the library will be launching on July 5th, and we cannot wait to see you all here this summer. That does it for this week's report. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help us spread the word. We'll be taking a summer break in the month of June, so stay tuned for information about our next episode. I'm Garrett Prey, and this has been the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report. Thank you, and have a great day.